Christopher Nolan and his obsessions. You may have heard or read about Stanley Kubrick's obsession with perfection, Wes Anderson's obsession with stage symmetry, and many other directors' strange habits. But did you know that Christopher Nolan also has obsessions strange enough to make this list? Nolan, who managed to impress everyone with Inception, the Dark Knight trilogy, Interstellar, and his Oscar-winning film Oppenheimer, of course has some obsessions behind his successful direction. Let's get to know Christopher Nolan a little more closely. Number 1. Red Script Nolan always wants his film scripts to be printed on red paper with black lead airing. The red paper prevents the script from being photocopied, but according to the actors, it also makes it difficult to read. Robert Downey Jr. and Emily Blunt humorously complained about this in the Oppenheimer film. Nolan also prefers to hand deliver his scripts to the actors instead of sending them digitally. You might think that he does this to keep the script confidential. But for Nolan, it's not secrecy, it's privacy. Number 2. Telephone He doesn't use a phone or email. He writes scripts on a computer with no internet connection. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Nolan said that he lives almost completely disconnected when it comes to communicating because he doesn't carry a smartphone and doesn't use email. He also said that he writes scripts on a computer with no internet connection to avoid any distractions. While technology and all that it provides makes our lives easier and our time more enjoyable, Nolan has his reasons for spending time without the internet. He sometimes carries a flip phone with him. It's not surprising that he doesn't use a cell phone when you consider that in Tenet he chose to blow up a Boeing 7 for 7 jetliner to make the action scenes more realistic instead of using computer effects. Number 3. IMAX Cinema It adds extra scenes that will only be available on DVD and Blu-ray. For Nolan, getting a physical copy of a movie is very important. Nowadays, we can quickly access any movie and TV series content we want. These can be some major platforms with subscription-based systems or digital copies sold on the internet. Despite the convenience for the viewer, Nolan argues that a physical copy of the content should always be obtained, as these platforms only acquire the rights to the movie for a certain period of time and will be removed when that time is up. According to Nolan, movies on these platforms may one day be removed, but if you buy a physical copy of a movie, you will be able to keep it on your shelf for as long as you want. That's why he adds extra scenes to his movies that will only appear in the physical copy, thus encouraging viewers to get a physical copy. Number 4. Time we know from his movies that he is obsessed with the concept of time. The reason is hidden in the magic of the work. In response to a question about why he is so obsessed with time in his films, Nolan answers it is the most fundamental part of our human experience and emphasizes how important the concept of time is for a movie. I think the camera is a time machine, Nolan comments, adding that he likes to put details that the audience can connect with the end of the movie and make them think. For Nolan, who reverses the concept of time in his films, this is as important as breathing. Number 5. The Kidnapped or Dead Spouse Scenario Of course, some people have noticed this detail in the films directed by Nolan, especially if you juxtapose the themes of his films like Memento, Inception, and The Prestige, you will understand what we are talking about. Most of Nolan's films begin or progress with the death of a man's wife or girlfriend, or we see this loss as part of the character. In Memento, Pierce, the main character, has lost his wife and yearns for revenge. In The Prestige, the character Angie loses his wife on stage and starts a fierce rivalry to get revenge on the magician who caused it. Nolan Loves may have actually made the scenario of his films much more meaningful. Just as Edgar Allan Poe said, surely the death of a beautiful woman is the most poetic subject in the world. The video ends here. Doc, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for support.